Look, time to get you shifted. 40 inch vert used to be up, now it's 50. No ceiling, Sally raised the floor, change perspective. I got limitless potential, soaring over expectations. Look at me now. I'm raising potential by raising my floor. No one wanted more. Gotta be patient, my energy stored. Living the moment, no moment ignored. Give you the track, but it's deeper than that. All of the facts are just holding you back. Can't keep it up, it's foundation you lack. If you're willing to work, there's no end to the path. That's how we do it. Today, I wanna to give you one huge shift to completely change your perspective on training and give you the best chance at a 50 inch vertical. Let's go, happy dunk tip weight. Dunk tip two. Dunk tip Tuesday. Yeah. Wait, I don't hear it. Dunk tip Tuesday. Yeah. All we do is dunk. Dunk tip Tuesday. Boy, you don't want to jump. Dunk tip Tuesday. Yo, my heart is going up. Dunk tip Tuesday. And I do it for the love. Dunk tip Tuesday. Now I do it for my subs. Dunk tip Tuesday. And I can never get enough. Dunk tip Tuesday. And I ain't never giving up. Dunk tip Tuesday. Dunk tip Tuesday. So the shift is from ceiling to floor. Stop trying to reach your ceiling and start focusing on raising your floor. So what I mean by that is when we're trying to reach our ceiling, we're trying to hit a new goal, we're trying to hit a new PR, but we're just building a shaky foundation. We're just doing whatever we can to achieve those goals. When in reality, if we focus on the floor, raising that floor, we are building a foundation that is not only stable and able to be built upon, but as we raise the floor, we actually raise our ceiling. We raise our potential. So instead of trying to just grasp at a new height, raise your floor so you can effortlessly reach that new height and increase your potential and continuously exceed your limits. So this foundation is built by letting go of our goals and committing to progress. And I know that might sound crazy, but let me explain. So when you let go of your goals, of course we wanna jump higher, run faster, get stronger, be the best we could possibly be, and that's why you have to let go of goals. For example, if you wanna say, hey, I wanna lift a 400 pound squat in six months, no matter what you do, when you get there, you can't just go under 400 pounds. If you had a terrible six months, you're not even close to it, you can't just get under that bar, you will hurt yourself, and you just won't achieve that goal so there's no point of setting that goal but goals are great to keep us focused to help us dial in and as a framework yes we might want to hit that 400 pound squat in six months but all we can do is the best we can do every single day if we start sacrificing our form or sacrificing our sleep or doing these things that are not building the foundation we're building on shaky ground that's a shaky foundation because our progress is set on that goal. So if we don't achieve that goal, a lot of times we quit and we feel bad about not achieving that goal. And on top of that, we don't learn as we go because we're so focused on that goal, we're not learning in the moment, which means we're not getting in tune with our bodies. And the best athletes are the ones that are most in tune with their bodies. They're able to push themselves, rest when they need to, and I have a whole course on body awareness if you wanna get started on that. But if you see any great athlete, they know their body, so well that they can get it to respond exactly how they want and continue to build upon that. So set goals as a focus and a framework, but don't be attached to achieving that outcome and commit to progress. Now, letting go of time is one of the hardest things to do, but ask yourself, what is the rush? Why do you want that progress so badly now? What if you had more potential than you ever thought possible if you just worked day in and day out? Greatness takes time. When you're trying to build a freaking empire, a monument, a temple, would you rather build the fastest castle or would you rather build the strongest, most solid foundation castle that can weather any storm and you can continue to build upon it? So our goals are the same. We want to be the best we can possibly be, and the best way we can get there is doing the best we can right now. Every single day you can learn about your body, you can learn about your mind, you can learn about your recovery, you can learn about your training. And if you're making progress, no matter how small, in fact, the smaller the steps, the better, because you're laying a brick of foundation every single time you make progress and you will continue to raise your potential. 
the road to 50 is so long, nobody's really that close to it without a lot of training, that the only way to get there is to build a solid foundation that can withstand all that training, all that jumping. And it's crazy that we're going for 50 now. I mean, people are close. I have some people have measured 50. I mean, they're really close. Even if it's not official and they're getting 48, 49, that is crazy close. When I started, 40 used to be an insane elite goal. Now at 42.5, my max vert seems like freaking low. But shoot for the moon, land amongst the stars. When you shoot for 50, the foundation, the mindset, all the skills you learn through the process is going to help you in every aspect of your athletic journey, not to mention your entire life. Now, I want you to really think if you don't do this, that you will regret not taking these steps in six months, one year, five years. If you look back and you tried all these different things and you didn't focus on progress every single day, five years down the line, you may regret not taking the necessary steps to build this foundation. But if you look back five years from now and all you did was progress every single day, no matter how small it is, even if it's just stretching, even if it's just working on your freaking toes, those steps of progress will add up to be an elite athlete. Not to mention you'll develop a patient mindset, you'll develop resilience in your body, you'll develop all these skills that help you with any goal you want to achieve. All of it was said in my few bars in my rap, so you don't even have to watch this video, just listen to those couple bars. That's the beauty of music, the power of music. If it speaks to your soul, it just comes out of me right to you. So commit to progress. Forget your ceiling, let go of your ceiling, stop trying to reach the ceiling, and start raising your floor. Start raising your potential, and that way you can be limitless. 50k era. Thank you all so much. And I'm going to make a video about my entire journey so far on YouTube, how you guys can express yourself the best, how to make the best content possible, something I'm so passionate about because this has transformed my life so much. So if you're into that, stay tuned for that 50k. Thank you guys so much. It's pretty wild. And I'm excited for the journey going forward. Up and at them, limitless potential, raise the freaking floor. My floor is now at 50K. That's what I'm saying. My floor is now 50K. That's nuts. I love you. Let's dunk.